So in this tutorial, we're going to make a dice, okay, in Blender. It's a very simple tutorial, so hope you'll be able to make a dice after watching this tutorial. So first of all, when you open your Blender, uh, by default, there is a cube. Now you can use this cube to make a dice in Blender. Um, alternatively, if you don't want this cube, you can uh, click on this and press delete. And you can go to add mesh, add mesh and then cube. Uh, but it's the same thing. It just uh, adds a cube in the viewport. So now you have a cube. The orange line around this means it's selected. If it's not selected, just click on the cube. It's now selected. Now we're going to go to edit mode. You can do that by clicking here and edit mode. Alternatively, you can just press tab on your keyboard. Now this is edit mode. Okay. Zoom in by scrolling your mouse with scroll wheel or you can just go to this you can click on this plus you know, zoom sign and drag your mouse now after that what you can do is click oh sorry press control and r now after that when you hover your mouse on this cube it will you know show this kind of shape when it shows this Kind of square shape just scroll up your scroll wheel and once it uh, creates four square shapes oh it's too much scroll down if it's too much um, so now it's four when it's four just click, uh, left click and then right click now it's set okay again control and r now on this side okay and uh, control uh, sorry scroll up and when it's four it's five when it's five just scroll down when it's four left click and right click again control r now this time we're gonna create here and scroll up when it's four, left click and right click. Okay, now you can just click outside and then you have a cube with uh, more faces. Like one individual face has now 25 faces. Okay, you can see it's divided into different faces or vertices, whatever you call vertices vertices are the points and faces are the squares okay so now we're going to select the faces the small faces to do that you can see here select mode it's vertex edge and then face so click on face now if you click like this it selects the face the faces okay the individual faces now I checked on the internet, I don't have a dice with me. So I checked the internet and it says one and six are on opposite sides. And four and three are on opposite sides and two and five are on opposite sides. So let's do four, okay. Once you click one face, hold the shift key and click on another face other faces so we have selected four with your uh, scroll wheel click click on uh, scroll wheel and then drag like this now we're gonna go on the opposite side and opposite side of four is three so hold your shift key and we're gonna select three faces here again we're gonna go to this side 
and as we said before uh, two we're gonna to select two hold the shift key and uh, as we said earlier opposite of two is five is that yeah five so we're gonna select five faces holding the shift key again this part this side and one okay now this side it's six so one two three four five six remember i'm holding the shift key while selecting the faces so i have selected all the faces i wanted to so there's something called extrude and blender so if we want to extrude a face we press e but in this case that's not going to work because we have selected uh, many faces and especially in uh, this kind of situation like in six faces the e or just to extrude is not going to work so we're going to go to face and instead of extrude which is e we're going to extrude individual faces okay click and then press enter okay after that we're going to press i to inset the face so here you can just drag your mouse a little bit now it insets the faces individual faces uh it it's able to do so because we had extruded individual faces okay otherwise it would just do uh, apply the inset to the whole selected faces as one that's why we did the individual extrude thing so once you're happy with your inset just click and then you're done but remember that you're you do not click outside because we still want uh want to have these um faces selected okay don't click outside yet so having those faces selected now we're going to go to um what are we going to do next um okay let me see we have done this now what we're going to do is um um there's something called uh poke face go to face and poke faces okay when you do poke faces if you go down here on the left side of your um, screen down here it says poke faces click here and then you have poke offset you can adjust the number here right now it's zero if you drag towards right it's gonna come out okay but we're gonna we need to we need them to go inside so drag towards left side it will go towards like minus so we're gonna go up to minus 0 0.2 okay and then we're done uh once we're done just minimize this poor faces okay so so far so far so good i guess so now what we're going to do is uh we're going to apply uh some material okay we're going to add some material so go to material properties and click new so this is material one we will need material two materials because we have uh to apply different colors on the dice itself and the uh the numbers like one two three four five six um so to do that again click on this plus sign and again click new so on this material 2 
we're gonna go down and change the base color click on base color and click um, some color here um, something like bluers yeah uh, but right now we're not able to see this because um, we're on um, solid mode so we can go to material preview mode and uh, we can assign here okay click assign now it shows that this number okay I mean the color has been changed if you're not happy with this color just go to base color um, actually change it to white okay and we'll go to material one and then for material one we're going to change to something like blue okay okay Oop, that's too much okay now we will go to object mode okay so far so good um we can actually go to material 2 and uh, let's change it to white i don't know why it didn't change now it's changing okay okay now it looks like dice but not actually like real dice we're gonna make it look like a real dice so we're gonna go to this modifying properties add modifier and we're gonna apply subdivision surface now it looks more like a dice um, here there's number one we're gonna click here and change it to number two but we're gonna make it, make it more realistic so change it to three same with this render change it to three now the final thing here is click uh, right click on this dice and shade smooth that's what it makes you know, look like a real smooth dice so yeah we have created our dice successfully now what you can do is just go to this material properties and uh, go to this material one go down scroll down here and here is something called roughness you can just click and drag and decrease the roughness that will increase the shininess oh sorry Sh what's that shiny the shine of a the shiny thing Sh oh. what i'm saying i'm not sure but the shine shine thing okay it's shine it, it makes the dice shine more okay it makes the dice shiny same with the material too go to roughness and decrease the roughness okay now it's shiny dies okay if you go to this render more um, render preview mode you can see here there's a shiny dice it doesn't look as shiny as in um, what's that material preview mode because it depends on the render engine okay and you will have to go to like um, render engine settings to do that uh, since it's not a tutorial on render engine I'm not gonna do that but you can just see this uh, material preview mode and see how shiny it looks or you can go to render render image here is the actual the final output of your dies okay in blender so i hope you'll you'll be able to make this kind of uh dies after following this tutorial and um i hope you like this video if you like the video don't forget to hit like leave a comment and 
don't forget to subscribe to this channel.